there and welcome to today's video. Now before we get started with the films and everything, I'd just like to recommend this yoghurt. It's made by Yeo and it's a natural yoghurt and it's actually very nice indeed. I have this yoghurt all the time actually. I have it with some sliced up banana and it's very nice. Very nice flavour and, and everything and you never get sick of it. No, I never get sick of this yoghurt ever. So um, if you live in the UK, you can get this yoghurt in Asda and it costs £1.60. I know it's not that cheap but it's really worth it. So I highly recommend this yoghurt. If you like yoghurt, this is a good one to get. And like I say, you never get sick of it. Right, now let's get on to the movies. Now let's take a look at some of the uh, DVDs I've been picking up over the last few weeks and months. Right, so we start off with this one, which I picked up um, recently. This one is Crazy Rich Asians on DVD. And I know absolutely nothing about this film. I just thought it looked interesting. So I thought I'd uh, pick, a, pick up a copy for my collection. And uh, here's the back cover of this one. Um... I hope it's a good film anyway. The cover looks nice and everything. Um, so that's Crazy Rich Asians. This next one here is called Too Smooth. And I got this one because I was watching um, Cinema Sickness here on YouTube. I'm a big fan of his channel. I'm addicted to his channel at the minute. I watch it all the time. And um, he... Uh, Found a copy of this on VHS, I think in one of the Goodwill stores. So I thought it looked interesting from watching him pick it up. So I decided to uh, try and find a copy myself, but on DVD. And this is a region, US, uh, US import region 1 DVD version of the film. So um, I've yet to watch this one, but it stars Rebecca Gayhart, Neve Campbell... And I think that guy there, um, I've never heard of him, but he's called, um, what's he called, Dean Paris or something? I think he directed it, directed the film and wrote it as well, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think he, he definitely directed it. I don't know if he wrote it. He probably did. Here's the back. I've always liked Rebecca Gayhart. She's a pretty good actress and she's very easy on the eye as well. So... So that's that one. Next we have a John Travolta movie called Gotti. Where he plays pretty much a, um, like a um, mafia type guy based on a true story I think. This film apparently has got lots of bad reviews. But I'm a big fan of John Travolta so I thought I'd pick it up. And this one was only three quid as was uh, Crazy Rich Asians that was on special offer. Just temporarily I think. But this seems to be this one seems to be permanent permanently on sale for three quid in Asda. So that's that one. Next uh we have a film called Hellfest. Um which uh, is obviously a horror movie. Um I haven't haven't seen it yet. I haven't heard anything about it, I don't know much about it, so I'll be going into it pretty much blindly. But it looked interesting from the artwork on the cover. It's obviously all satanic stuff once again, which is uh, often the case with ho Hollywood horror movies and stuff. But what can you do? Um, there's the back cover on this one. You can get this one on 4K apparently as well in America. Didn't realise it was would get a 4K release. I thought it was just a low budget horror movie. You know, I thought it would. I thought it would be just on DVD. In fact, not even on Blu-ray. Never mind 4K. Uh, next one I've got here is Watership Down. I got this also for three quid. I've got to tell you how much I paid for Hellfest. That was also three quid as well. Uh, on offer in Asda. I've got um, all of these apart from Too Smooth from Asda. And this uh, Watership Down has a different cover to um, the Blu-ray version. The Blu-ray has the original artwork which was on the film poster when it came out at cinemas I believe with the Picture of the black rabbit on the front. But I quite like this um, cover to be honest. 
Um, it's more colourful and stuff. But I watched this one, it's a pretty good film. Some of the anim animation's a little bit ropey um, in places. Especially when you watch it on the big screen, you can see some things you perhaps meant, weren't meant to see. So that's Watership Down. Next one we have is Truth or Dare. Haven't watched this one either, but it gets pretty bad reviews, I think. I thought I'd give it a chance for three quid, though. Give it a try. I know I watched um, Film Fan 108's video when he was doing his um, Blu-ray and DVD hunting videos on a Tuesday. He, I remember he, uh, when he found this one, he was he was saying, don't don't watch it, don't buy it. It's it's a load of crap, basically. But I thought I thought it's worth worth a try, you know. Everyone's got different opinions when it comes to films anyway. I mean, pr pretty much some films everyone hates. But some films, yeah, they'll look, you know, some people might love them and some people might hate them. So it's best to give them a try, especially if, if they're on a uh, bargain price. Available, available for bargain price, you know. So that's that one. And the last one for the minute is called Surrounded. Which is obviously about sharks. I think it's a bunch of girls get trapped somewhere out out in at sea somewhere next to a beach or somewhere like that. I haven't watched it yet but uh and they get surrounded by sharks obviously. But it looked looked decent from the cover but I think it's got terrible terrible reviews on IMDB and unfortunately. So anyway that's surrounded Right now it's time to look at the the Blu-rays that I picked up recently. Yet again, over the last few weeks and months, I picked these up. And let's get straight on with it. So the first one I've got here is Independence Day. This, this is the newly remastered version. Um, I've already got the other version on Region A import uh, from America. So I decided to get this version because it was really cheap in Asda. It was a fiver or something. So that's that one. Everyone knows... Independence Day quite well I should imagine. The next one I got was also for five quid. This is Conan the Destroyer. Um, I haven't watched this one yet so I don't, don't know what it's like. But I'm hoping it's uh, at, least, at least fairly decent because I, I like Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies, most of them, most of them in fact. Let's show you the back of this one. That's that one. Next one I got, another Quite cheap one was uh, this one, which is Meet Joe Black, starring Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins. And uh, I forgot the girl's name. Oh, it's Claire Forlani, isn't it? Claire Farla Forlani. I saw this film ages ago because I've got it on DVD as well uh, on uh, American Import. Um, so I've always liked this film. It's on like three hours or more. But it's a, it's a good film to watch. Um, you never get bored with it. Well, I don't anyway. And I've still yet yet to watch this Blu-ray version. So that's uh, Meet Joe Black. And uh, all of these are UK ones. Uh, actually, I got most of them. Well, some of them I got online and some of them I got from Asda. Uh, this one is um, called The Girl... I mean, sorry. Girl Most Likely. Starring Kristen Wiig, which is a comedy, comedy drama in fact. I've watched this one, it was really good actually. Very entertaining film and it also, it also features Annette Benning in the movie as well and uh, Matt Dillon. So if you like those actors, this is a good film to get. You won't be disappointed I'm sure. Next we have a film starring Mel Meryl Streep. This one's called Ricky and the Flash watched this one yet where it's about a, um, an, uh, a woman who used to be a rock and roll star I don't know if she still is in the film but she used to be a rock and roll star and stuff I don't really know much about the story that's all I know really but it looked interesting and I like Meryl Streep so I, I decided to get a copy got it online quite cheap it was only like two two pounds something or something like that so that's Ricky and the Flash Next one here is a film I'm pretty sure most of you will have heard of and me lights just died the battery. Oh dear. Well I hope I've got enough light to continue the rest of this video. Yeah, this one's called The Maze Runner. 
Still yet to watch this one also. I've got this one really cheap as well. It was only about three, two or three pounds, something, something like that. Got it from uh, Music Magpie. So, um, and here's the back cover of this one. It's the Maze Runner. Next we have a film starring Matt Damon, which I have in fact watched, and it was a very good film. Very good film indeed. Yeah, actually, I'll just uh, cut for a minute because I need to change this light. Oh, and just before we get started on the movies, I almost forgot. If you have trouble with your hands, like have sore hands and sort of cracked skin a lot and stuff in cold weather, and not just in cold weather, but all year round, if your hands are really sore and cracked and everything keeps splitting up, then I highly recommend you get a hold of some of this soap here. It's called Sanex, and it's like a dermo soap or something. And you can get it in Asda for £2.49. I know it's not that cheap, but it's well worth it. You get four bars of soap in each pack for £2.49. And if you wash your hands with this each day, uh, your hands gradually start to heal up. If you've got cuts and sore parts on your hands, they gradually start to heal up, at least they did with me. So I highly recommend you get a hold of some of this soap if you've got sore hands and stuff and you're in a lot of pain. Well worth getting a hold of. Anyway, now it's definitely onto the movies. Right, I've got the new light on now. I don't know how long this one's going to last the battery, but I hope it lasts a bit longer than the other one. But the other one wasn't uh, recently, recently charged, so it might be something to do with it. But anyway, this next one is called Downsizing, and uh, it's about a guy who goes to some laboratory place to get shrunk and shrunk and out shrunk and it's it to get shrunken down to to a very small size and he goes with his wife played by Kristen Wiig again and um basically she bottles out at the last minute when he's already sort of gone through with it and he's very angry about that uh, in the film but it's a really good film um it was a flop i think at the box office so it didn't do very well at all, unfortunately. But uh, I think it still has quite a fan base because it's the story. Story uh, kind of goes in directions directions you don't actually expect it to. Um, but it's an interesting story, and Matt Damon is really funny in the film, in places, and he gives a very good performance also as well. It's very uh, very uh, interesting performance he gives in this film. And like I say, it's really funny in places as well. So that's Downsizing. Next one I have here, I've, sh I've showed you before on DVD, but I actually got the Blu-ray version. I upgraded it to the Blu-ray, because it was only like £3, three pounds something. And this one's called The Time of Their Lives. And it stars Joan Collins and Paul... Uh, is it Pauline Collins? Yeah, Pauline Collins and Frank O'Nero. And this is also a pretty good film. I enjoyed it. I don't think this film did very well either. Everywhere you see it, it's usually on special offer. Like, uh, I originally got this on from Astar on DVD, but I got this one from um, Music Magpie, um, the Blu-ray here. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it was only like £3 something or something. I haven't watched this Blu-ray version yet, but I intend to watch it at some point. Right, next one I have here is called Winter's Tale and it stars Colin Farrell and um, Jessica Brown Findlay, which I've never heard of her before to be honest. Not familiar with her in the slightest. And it also has an appearance by Russell Crowe as well. He He's in the film as well. And this is a like uh, sort of fantasy romance film and I think it involves time traveling I think I haven't watched, actually watched it but I watched the trailer and it looked really good from the trailer so I, I saw this for two pound online so I decided to get a copy and here's the back cover so that's a winter's tale and the next one I've got here is called well it stars Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts and it's sort of a um, comic th comedy thriller. 
I think that's how you describe it. It's got drama in it as well. It's called The Mexican. It's not actually about a person who's a me Mexican. It's actually about a gun known as The Mexican. And Brad Pitt gets a hold of it and then he loses it and he has to try to get it back again. But it's a very good film. And this is uh, this film's only available from Germany for some reason. This is a German import. You kind of get it from America and you kind of get it from the UK and you kind of get it from any other country. It's only available in Germany. Why? I have no idea, to be honest. It's very strange. So that's the Mexican. And here's the back cover. The transfer is okay on this film, but it's not really the best. It's not one of them ones where you put on and you think, wow, this looks amazing. It uh, looks okay, but it's a bit. It looks like an old master to me. Could have uh, done a bit better with the transfer. I mean, it's sharp enough and everything, but it just doesn't doesn't pop, you know. And uh, next, uh, the next few I've got here. Well, apart from one, were all three pound each. Bargain prices from Asda. So the next one here is called the Knight. Hang on. It's called Arm Knight Templar. Um, I don't really know much about this apart from it's like knights and armor and stuff and some romance and stuff. It's a big sort of epic type film with romance in it. And it's obviously the Knight Temple has to do with Freemasonry and stuff. If you look it up online, you'll find all about that. If you want to know about that. Back cover has nothing to write home about really. There's a few pictures and stuff, but it's not very eye catching to be honest. That's that one. Next one here stars Vin Diesel, and it's different to the films he usually does. This one's like a comedy crime caper type prison movie type thing, courtroom drama. And this one's called Find Me Guilty. Yeah, I read, I read good things about this online, so I thought I'd uh, give it a try. But, but unfortunately, it hasn't got the 5.1 Dolby Digital Surround Sound, I mean DTS HD Audio Soundtrack. That the American version's got. It's only got a two channel, uh, two channel surround, I think. I'm not sure if it's two channel stereo or two channel surround, but it's not the 5.1. So, anyway, that's that one. And here's the back cover. Next one stars Samuel L. Jackson and someone called Dominic Cooper. And I think this is another thriller called reasonable doubt yet again this one was three pounds yeah three pounds not bad at all for a brand new blu-ray but i haven't watched this one either so i can't really tell you much about it unfortunately at the minute but here's the back cover so that's that one and the last one i've got to show you for the minute this one cost a little bit more but it was still on special offer and it's uh the new version I mean, the, well, it's the newest Halloween film. It's just called Halloween. I don't know why they called it Halloween, just Halloween, because that might confuse some people who aren't familiar with the Hall Halloween films. Like, because this is a direct sequel to the first Halloween. Um, they've decided to ignore all the other sequels that they made after the first one and just uh, continue this film straight from the uh, first film because as you all probably know Jamie Lee Curtis's character Laurie Strode was killed off in Halloween Resurrection but since they've ignored all their mother films including that one Laurie Strode's now alive and well and kicking Michael Myers's butt once again or trying to so Anyway, I found this film really uh, good, actually. I enjoyed it quite a lot. And I watched it on the big screen as well in my cinema room. The transfer was excellent. Um, there was a scene where Michael Myers was still in the mental facility. And he was outside in the courtyard. And the camera sh start, sort of shows you him standing in the courtyard with a few other mental patients. Standing around the place, spread out. On a massive sort of checkered floor. It wasn't black and white checkers, but it was red and white. Now I I, I learned online that um, 
the red and white or red and black tiles of the checkerboard uh, actually represent blood sacrifice. That's according to somebody online. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true or not, but it might be. But I was interested that they had that in this film, considering like what's Michael Myers best known for. Well, of course, it's for uh, slaughtering everyone. And um, slicing them up and stabbing them and all that sort of stuff. So it makes sense that that would represent blood sacrifice, wouldn't it? Anyway, this is a very good film. It's very entertaining. Quite spooky and eerie in places. There was a scene where this guy was wandering around by himself drunk on Halloween night. In the middle of the film. And he was in somebody's garden. I think he was in the, somebody's garden. And uh, the security lights came on. And Michael Myers appears not far away from him, from him. And then the lights go off on the security lights. And the guy doesn't know where Michael Myers has gone. He disappears. And then next thing you know he turns up again. And he, he attacks him. And he pins him to a fence. Like a metal gate or something. Kills him on the gate. That was a really good scene. I enjoyed that bit. So I highly recommend this film if you haven't seen seen it. And you like the Halloween films or just Halloween just horror films in general. So anyway, that's all the Blu-rays that I've got recently that I would like to show you for now. I might have some more kicking about somewhere, but I've got mixed up which ones I've showed you and which ones I haven't, to be honest. Uh, but I just got this um yesterday in the post as well. Uh, is this the right one? No, hang on. I just got um season two of CSI Miami part two because they're in two parts, part one and part two. Each part has three discs in with the, roughly twelve episodes spread across the discs. And this is it. This is um CSI Miami season two part two. And I got this one very cheap as well. On Music Magpie. So I've yet, no, it's got some annoying stickers on the back. Which it didn't mention when I ordered it online. Because it said it was in very good condition. So to Music Magpie. Very good condition. Must mean sometimes. That it has stickers plastered all over the cover. Great eh. Anyway. What can you do. Right well. That's pretty much it for now. So. I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and don't forget to hit the notification button bell uh, uh, to be notified when I upload new videos and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and, uh, and don't forget to leave a comment if you've got anything you would like to say or ask me I'll answer all the comments if, if I get notifications for them. So um, I'll see you on the next video. So bye for now. And thanks very much for watching.